If you're like me, you love picture books. I'm reading a book called Lift by Min Lei. He also wrote a lot of other amazing picture books. The other thing I love is graphic novels and superheroes. And when Min Lei wrote a graphic novel about Green Lantern, I went crazy. So today I'm gonna interview Min Lei and he's gonna talk about his picture books and graphic novels and we're gonna learn all about them. So let's go! Now I'm with Min Lei and he is a graphic novelist and a children's book author. So let's say hi. Hi! Hello there, good to be with you all. My first question is, what type of books do you write? So that's a great question. I write mostly children's picture books. Um, so books for younger ages and what I love about that is that those kinds of books are accessible to anyone, right? You can read it on your own, you can read it with your kids, you can read it with the classroom. But I recently started writing more graphic novels as well for older, older kids and older audiences. Um, and even though there are certain ages that the books are targeted for, when people ask me what age are your books for, I always kind of joke birth to death because I feel like with a picture book anyone can appreciate a good picture book. So I like to write books that are hopefully accessible for anyone who's interested in a good story. I love reading. What's your favorite part about writing books? That's also a great question. My favorite part about writing books is that it gives me an opportunity to connect with readers like you. Um, when I was your age and younger, I was super, super shy. Um, I didn't like to, I, talking to somebody like this would have made me super nervous. I would go running into the hills. So I always loved to read. And that was kind of like my space to read and connect with these characters and these stories. So I always tell people that reading was my escape from the world. What I love about writing now is that writing books has given me a way back into the world because through these stories and through these books, I get to connect with young people and talk about the power of stories and the power of the imagination. So that idea of connection and that ability to connect through a story is my favorite part about writing. What's the hardest part about writing books? The hardest part is trying to come up with an idea that is new. Because if you go to the bookstore or the library, there's millions of books out there already, right? So the question is like, how do you write something that is new and add something different to what's there? And that can be very intimidating to try to be like, how do you come up with something new when there's been so much written over, over the years? But that's also the fun challenge of it. What's the relationship between you and your illustrators? <laughs> so it's funny because I am an author, so I'm technically in charge of the words, but the books I write tend to have very few words. Um, I like stories that are told mostly through the illustrations, and I get to work with such talented artists that they take the story they write and create these beautiful worlds. I feel like my job as an author is to come up with an idea, put just enough words on the page, that the illustrator has something they can really sink their teeth into and then allow them to use their full talent to make this story into a beautiful book. Even though the words are my part of the, the project, I think of the words as secondary to the pictures. And a lot of times when you're an author and not the illustrator, people ask, like, is it strange to have someone else illustrate your, your book? And I always tell them that that's the wrong way of looking at it, right? Because a picture book can't exist without the pictures, so it's not my book, it's our book. And for it to be a successful picture book, there has to be space for the illustrator to come to the story and bring their talent, bring their own storytelling abilities to it. So it really is a true partnership, and that kind of collaboration to me is what makes picture books such a, a wonderful type of storytelling. How was the jump from picture books to a graphic novel? It was really fun. Um, it's an interesting story because I started out in picture books, like we said, and then one day I got a call from someone from DC Comics. They said that we're about to start a new line of graphic novels for young readers, so comics for kids, and we'd like to invite you to write a story, just pitch us an idea. Um, and at first I, my thought was, I think you have the wrong men because I write picture books. But luckily they, they didn't. They said, we've been watching your writing, we're interested in the kinds of stories you're telling, um, just give it a shot, see what you can come up with. So I said yes after I picked my job off the ground and then I started looking at all their characters and it's a picture book is 32 to 40 pages usually 
this graphing novel is like 120 pages and it was really fun to kind of have more space to work with characters kind of figure out where the story could go you have a little bit more breathing room i feel like a picture book has to be so precise and contained and that's kind of what i love about it but getting to stretch out a little bit in the graphic novel and comic space has been really fun and um for green lantern legacy i got to write a story that featured Vietnamese American and Vietnamese superheroes and that's really important to me to get to finally have a chance to write a character that was inspired by my own grandmother and have her be a hero in this the world of comics was a really special project to get to work on so I, I love it. Green Lantern more than 80 years old was it hard to live up to? That's a great question and you see all these gray hairs on my head they come from that <laughs> that pressure of trying to live up to uh, a character who has such a rich history a few years ago, it was like the 80th anniversary of the character. Um, so I, as an author, wanted to make sure to do two things. I wanted to bring something new to the character, create something fresh that hadn't been done before. But I also wanted to write a character that honored what everyone loves about Green Lantern, right? It's like 80 years of history. People have invested so much time and energy into this character. I didn't want to write something that um, went counter to that. I wanted to write something that built upon what they already loved. So, You'll love this. The great part is when I started writing Green Lantern, I asked my editor, I was like, I want to make sure I'm up to date on all the history of this character. Can you send me all the back matter so I can read up? So they sent me two boxes like this big full of Green Lantern comics. So I was up late at night reading and re taking notes and I had to stop and be like, wait a minute. <laughs> I wish I'd go back and tell my like 10 year old self that I was getting paid to read comics for a living because I got to just stay up late at night reading comics and then figuring out stories and so it really was living the dream. That sounds like a lot of pressure, but also fun. Has anyone ever offered to make a movie out of your books? Um, that is something that is potentially in the works and we're, hopefully we'll get there soon. But um, I would love to see some of these characters on TV or in the movies and just see them come to life in a whole different way. That would be, that'd be a dream. I hope it happens. Why did you want to become an author? I always tell kids that my journey as an author began with my journey as a reader. I, I just loved books so much that eventually um, I realized that there were stories that I wasn't finding on the shelf, that I couldn't find in the bookstore or the library, and that if I wanted to read those and I wanted to have them out in the world, um, I guess I was going to have to write them. <laughs> so just having a life and being a part of the world of books has always been a dream in some way or another. And the fact that I get to write them is amazing. When I started out, the big dream, the big unattainable dream, was to just have like one book on the shelf and like I thought it might never happen then but um so now the fact that I'm going on book number nine I think comes out in the fall um is beyond any uh, beyond my wildest dreams that must be a dream come true my whole dream was to have a, any book out there the fact that I get to keep doing this is wonderful and um my favorite part is that I get to work with so many talented illustrators and get to see how they take these stories and these ideas and bring them to life. So I will continue doing this until they kick me out of the club and tell me that I can't do it anymore. That was my last question and I'd like to say thank you for teaching us all about your books and why you wanted to become an author. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for having me. I'd like to thank Min Le for his time and teaching us all about his books. So if you like picture books or graphic novels, check him out. He's amazing. And if you guys haven't subscribed, you should definitely. Because you guys don't want to miss out on an adventure, right? So I hope to see you next time on Sky Girl Reporter with a new adventure. Bye.